French President Emmanuel Macron is facing his first big political test, and it's coming from an unexpected place. His top military commander, who's resigned as the chief of the general staff following a public dispute with the new president over cuts to the defense budget. John Frayer is Bloomberg's executive editor for international government. He joins us now uh, from London. John, help us understand the import of this here. There was, uh, by all accounts, widespread optimism about this new president coming in with his upstart party, taking over French politics. What's happened here? What's the source of the disagreement? Well, certainly this is unprecedented in the modern history of France. This is the first time that a French, the head of the French military has uh, resigned uh, in, in the history of the, of the Fifth Republic, uh, which of course started under Charles, Charles de Gaulle in 1958. The, the background of this is a, is, a, is a dispute between the new president, Emmanuel Macron, and the army over defense spending. Um, of course, as, as we all know, the uh, things are tight uh, in Europe, and, and the, the, uh, the head of the armed, French armed forces uh, came out and said he could no longer guarantee uh, his ability to, to protect France uh, against, against uh, its threats, given the money that, that, uh, that is being allocated to him under Macron's proposal. So it's pretty dramatic. This is someone who no one in France had really heard of uh, before today. But you know, you have to remember, France is a country that is in a state of emergency right now. So you know, whatever about the, the rights and wrongs of the argument, for a new French president, um, it's sort of a risky. It's, it's a it's a risky thing to happen to fall out with your the head of your military so spectacularly. And French troops deployed in the Middle East and Africa, fighting the uh, Islamic State, of course. What's the what's the administration saying about this? Uh, how are they downplaying? I would imagine uh, what's happened here in France. Well, they're not really. I mean, Macron is sort of uh, he's he's using this as a, a, you know, to assert his dominance. Uh, he is very clear. There's a, very clear that he is he is in charge. He is the man who makes the decisions, and he will not back down. And it's pretty interesting because you know when Macron came in with his uh, with his uh, economic reform plan, we had sort of expected that the first major te test of the new president would come from the streets, uh, would come from protests. Will come from the labor unions. So the fact that it's coming from the military um, is, 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 is unexpected and a surprise. Um, but certainly, as I said, Macron is he's not backing down on this, but it's also coming at a time where the sheen is starting to come off his honeymoon a little, little bit. If you've seen the first sign of the, in the opinion polls mm. of French voters perhaps sort of tiring a little bit of the sort of what people call the authoritarian manner that yeah. he's taking to the presidency.